Well, hi, we're here with Rad Sinyak, and we're at NASA. We're at the Johnson Space Center uh, in yeah. Houston, and uh, Patricia Slechter Van Tryon is in driving, uh, driving and uh, her co pilot is uh, Dan Dickerson, and I'm along for the ride. And, and first of all, Rad, thank you again for letting us come and visit with you today. We've uh, been learning a lot. And we're right now we're in the Orion. We're uh, calling this the medium fidelity mock up. Medium fidelity mock up for the Orion shuttle, uh, Orion, Orion yeah. capsule. Yeah. Spacecraft, okay, and it, it will seat four. I mean, that's uh, it'll. We actually have room here for up to six <laughs> seats for a short mission. So okay. uh, initially, uh, we were a multi-purpose vehicle. So uh, when our requirements took us potentially to a space station as a backup. Vehicle. Ah, okay. So for a short destination, we can take, we can put two more seats where I'm standing, and uh, over next to you, and we can put in six seats in here. Okay. For a nominal mission, we're really designed to have consumables for four. And we can sustain a crew of four for up to 21 days just in this vehicle. Wow, okay. For a longer mission, uh, we would dock this vehicle to a larger habitation module. And so in this in this um, module, just remind us again, what is it you're actually studying by, by constructing this? In this particular vehicle. Yes. Um, we're, we're trying to identify any bump hazards uh, and also make sure that the crew has full reach and ability to access all the systems when they get into the vehicle and as they try to get out. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure there's no snags that happen on their suits, that, are, that everything is uh, designed such that there's no damage to the suits or the crew as they get in and out of the vehicle. Oh, of course, right. So, and of course, we're wearing hard hats for right. our own protection. We assume the crew probably won't wear. Well, they'll have helmets. They'll have the helmets on, okay, so. Uh, but it, it is a mo slightly milder environment in zero G, so that's less of a concern to us. <laughs> but mostly, uh, you know, as we get closer to human flight, we'll practice how to get the crew in and out for launch. Yes. Um, and also, they've been practicing already how to uh, get out after launch, uh, both through the main access hatch and through the top hatch. Okay. Wow. wow. Now, uh, Dan and, and Patricia, you're not touching any of the buttons over there, are you? You're not, you're not sending Thank us you off. Thank distracting Rad while we push <laughs> 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 right. we start moving, we know they push something. <laughs> 